What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Jalissa, aka Eyelash Flare Beauty. As you can tell by the title in today's video, we'll be doing a mini skincare routine. This is nighttime, so I'm showing you pretty much what I'll do at nighttime. And uh, all the products that I'll be using are all from my all natural skincare line. If you've been watching me for a while, especially on like my Facebook live, then you would have known that I suffered with acne. And at the moment, this is what my skin looks like. I have no active breakouts. I just have a little bit of discoloration, but in time we'll take care of that. I plan on doing like some micro needling, but in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys how I use my products. I'm gonna give you also a few of the key ingredients so you'll know that they're all skin loving things and you need a girl. So to start off, I had a long day today. So I'm gonna start off with my first step cleanser which is my cleanse off oil and it looks like this now my cleanse off oil it's a basically a first step cleanse so if you ever if you wear makeup anything waterproof your skin is just a little bit dirty from the outside elements then you would do this as your step one and I recommend you do this on a dry skin so whether you're wearing makeup or not, you would start off with a dry canvas and basically massage the oil all over the face for 30 to 60 seconds. If you are wearing makeup, anything waterproof, then you'll work it over those products, typically like eyeliners and stuff. You'll work it over the eyes, something like that. So you could break down that product. And once it's all worked into my skin, I'm going to go ahead and take a washcloth. This one is dry and basically remove it. Now, if I was wearing makeup, I would remove it with a makeup wipe because obviously I'll be wiping makeup away along with the oil. But I don't have makeup on today. I just was out for a long time and I was in New York City. So, yeah. All right. So this is what the skin looks like. The next thing that I like to do is I like to do a steam. I like to open up my pores. That way when I go in with my cleanser, I could get rid of any buildup, debris, oils, or anything that might have settled in my pores. Now my line features two cleansers. This one's open, but we have the liquid cleanser. This one is called Love Thy Skin Cleansing Water, and it's a water-based cleanser. Like It's very liquidy. It's not thickened like the average cleanser on the market and why the name and then we have right here my blueberry plus avocado powder foaming facial scrub now even though this is a scrub it is very very gentle not abrasive at all it doesn't have like typically what scrubs have which is like walnut or apricot seeds that's gonna leave you like micro like small abrasions on the skin we don't have that in this product but we do have product ingredients in it that will help to exfoliate that skin and some of those ingredients would be like powdered honey um we have chamomile which gives you that little bit of the scrub content we also have um the avocado powder blueberry powder and all that good stuff so i'm gonna go in and i'm going to steam my face you could see the steam coming up but i'm gonna steam my face i think this is called the nano facial steamer i got this from amazon but i'll go ahead and steam my face for about a minute or so and what this is going to do is open up the pores that way when I go in with my face wash, I'm able to remove all the excess grease, oils, dirt, debris, anything that has built up on my skin throughout the day. I do not steam my face every single day, but I do steam it maybe about two to three times a week. And it's also pretty good when you steam your face and you go ahead and do like any blackhead removal, things like that. Because that time your skin is soft, your pores are open, so it makes it easier for you to remove those pimples, whiteheads, blackheads, whatever it is. You could also steam your face and actually do the, what's it called? Dermaplantin, where you basically remove dead skin and like hair and stuff from the skin. So this is like a very essential step in a lot of face um, skincare products. All right. 
So now that my face is steamed, you could see it's pretty wet. So with that uh, moisture on the skin, so now that I'm finished steaming with my face, you could see that it's pretty wet. And these guys are not pimples or blackheads or anything. It's actually moles that are growing on my face and a little bit of freckles that's coming in girl I don't know what's going on honey I done turn 30 and things are happening so I don't know all right so to wash my face tonight I'm gonna be using my love dye skin cleansing water and I'm also gonna use the Foreo silicone face um facial brushy thingy this you could get at Ulta so to do that I'm actually going to damp my face just a tad bit more with some room temperature water and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my face wash directly to my my facial scrubber thingy. I do quite a bit of pumps and you get a generous amount like it looks pretty little the bottle but trust me it's so much product in it and the face scrub is a gentle foam um, ladder so it doesn't ladder up like the typical you know face wash that you'll get at the store with all those toxins girl so this one is all natural ingredients so obviously you don't get the same crazy ladder but it does give you quite a bit of ladder and it smells amazing it has a gingery smell so if you're like if you like ginger then you'll definitely like this. So some of the ingredients that are featured in the face wash would be Manuka honey, which is a anti-inflammatory. So that's gonna help to get rid of any acne causing bacteria that may be living on or in the skin. It also has green tea extract, which is amazing for soothing the skin. It has ginger extract, which helps to fight free radicals. It has prickly pear, which is a antioxidant is one of those super fruits so your skin is definitely going to love that so it has quite a bit of skin loving ingredients in them as I said I'll list those in the description so you could go ahead and take a read and you'll see all the benefits of the ingredients in the product now we're gonna basically work this into the skin for 30 to 60 seconds that's like my little thing I do 30 to 60 seconds every time I do anything on my skin make sure to get that neck girl Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and rinse my face. And now that I'm finished cleansing, I'm going to actually rinse with some room temperature water. That way you could do room temperature or cold. That way you could close your pores from it being steamed and we already pulled all the dirt out with the wash. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse with room temperature water. So for the next step, you do not have to do this on a daily basis. It's actually a pretty gentle foaming scrub you could use this in the mornings being that you already did like an in-depth skincare at night time you could use this in the morning because you wouldn't need to do as much at the in the morning but I'm still going to show you how this works so I'm basically going to pour in the palm about that much and then I'm basically going to put some water drip on it And now it's like a paste and then while my skin is still wet I'm just gonna go ahead rub it up and then work it all over the skin and as you can see it gives a pretty good foam and this also has some amazing skin benefits it's formulated with some oatmeal oatmeal is good for pulling oils out of the skin it also has avocado which is filled with vitamins vitamins a d and e we also have some blueberry powder in there which is amazing for getting rid of like free radicals and it's just a great antioxidant for the skin so i'm basically working it in and like i said in the beginning this is not a very rough scrub it may not feel like it's doing anything when you're using it but trust me it is So 30 to 60 seconds and then we'll rinse. Okay, so now we've rinsed off the foaming scrub. 
and the skin feels amazing i'm not gonna lie to you guys the foaming scrub <sighs> girl your skin gonna love you it's gonna feel so soft rejuvenated just so hydrated and now i'm going back in with the back side of the rag that we used beginning i should have grabbed two rags but i'm already filming we're gonna go ahead and dry the skin and the very next thing that i'm going to do is use a toner my toner is not yet released however it is amazing it's formulated to basically help with brightening the skin it has licorice extract in it and it also has um lemon peel bioferment both of those ingredients are natural ingredients to help to get rid of hyperpigmentation so it looks like that spray it on the cotton round and i'm really focusing it on the areas where I have hyperpigmentation. I'm gonna do all over, but mostly those areas. And so far, this is what we have. You guys my skin before honey was trash now it's amazeballs I love it I enjoy wearing my makeup knowing that I could properly clean and take care of my skin so even though I'm wearing makeup my skin is well taken care of and that's really the idea behind the brand because if you guys already know that I started my cosmetic line and I was like hmm what's the point of doing all this makeup you don't have great skin so that's what really pushed me into taking care of my skin especially you know because I had acne all right so the so the toner is now dried we're gonna go in with my face oil y'all you guys you need this this right here my glow radiance face oil is a liquid gold and I'm not even saying it only because it's me but trust me even my mother used it she had like some black stuff from like her jewelry she used it and she called me like, girl, I need to buy some because this time work. So for this face oil, I'm basically going to use a generous amount all over the skin. And it is a dry face oil, which basically means that it's fast absorbing. So you put it on, it's going to look a little oily, but it absorbs super, super fast into the skin. And a few of the ingredients in the face oil would be rose hip which is a hydrator and a moisturizer it also helps to fight hyperpigmentation as well as boost collagen it also has argon oil which is anti-aging and it treats acne and it also has evening primrose oil which helps to clear acne eczema and all those skin conditions that you may have and do bear in mind that nothing is a quick fix especially when it's natural it may not work as fast as the over-the-counter products that are not that great for your skin but trust me you will see the benefits you'll see you see my before and afters So I'm real hydrated right now. By the time I lay down and wake up in the morning, my skin is gonna feel like a baby's butt, soft, nice, hydrated, and just feels clean and fresh. And then the last thing, I'm just gonna take a little bit of Aquaphor. Get that on my lip. And that is pretty much my nighttime skincare routine. Now in the morning, I don't do it as intense. So in the morning, I'll probably just go in with either the foaming cleanser, either or, the foaming cleanser or the Love Dye Skin, maybe not both, and just my face oil. Those are the only two products I typically use in the morning since I already do my skincare at night. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed my very mini effective skincare routine. If you guys have any future video recommendations, please leave them below in the comments. Please remember to like, share, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I have a few videos that I filmed, but for some reason, the settings of my camera was not working, so I'd film it, and then when I put the card in the computer, it doesn't read, and then I can't transfer the video. So this video, I'm actually filming for the fourth time. So go ahead and watch it, share it, subscribe, because girl, this is a lot of work. So thank you guys for watching. Like I mentioned, I'll have everything in the description. Any questions, leave them below and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye, dolls. <laughs>